the biggest religious gathering in 12 years. The Mahakum in Allahabad, where lakhs converge in search of a tryst with the divine. But these people are not faceless millions. These are lives that come together in the melting pot of religion, race and nationalities. This is the Kumbh of life. An occasion as auspicious as this comes only once every 12 years. A place as holy as this where three of the holiest rivers of Hindu mythology meet is that the only reason that the Mahakumbh is special? Far from it, because at the Mahakumbh, each person has his or her different story. Mahakumbh is the coming together of millions and millions of different lives. It's as simple as that. It feels good to be here. It's this feeling that has led an entire family to pile into a bus and make the journey of a thousand kilometers. But why this? Why Allahabad? Why the Mahakum? Mahadharma. This was a young Anika Maksatua. Is me Tinu Nadioka Sangam Exiga Hotana yet Malab Badakum Manazata. Is Lee Arastan say Jefferson Malabia. Up since four AM for the auspicious Nan, they spend their evening sending out little parcels of light, praying for their wishes to be fulfilled. Not far from them, a group of 80-year-old men who have found refuge in Tapasya after being found no longer useful to their land-tilling families, assiduously dress themselves in the image of God himself. <laughs> Even the question about the importance of Mahakum amuses him no end. The lucky few make it here, and sometimes those who do never leave. This 86-year-old from Nepal can't understand any language around her, can't explain the reason for her presence at the Kumbh, and is suspicious of an unfamiliar television mic before her. <laughs> Suddenly, the barrier has been broken. She grabs the mic and launches into a full-throated evocation of Lord Govinda. This is her kum. The Mahakumbh is perhaps the single event that sees the largest number of footfalls as far as visitors from abroad are concerned. And they come for different reasons. Some of them come to see what is it that makes people shed their fears, shed their inhibitions and enter this confluence of rivers by the lakhs. While others come in search of something that they don't have in their own lives, in their own countries. <laughs> Yeah. 
thousand strike into kumb year after year after year. For some, the journey is longer than the others. They travel across continents to be at the Mahakumb. For some, the journey even transcends all that we thought we knew about our world. Who are these people? The name is a, is a concept that goes with the individual and there's only one universal consciousness so everyone have, has no name. The world is one whole entire uh, thing. One earth, one sky, one sun. This couple, rumoredly from Poland, draw curious stares even at the kum. Barefoot in the afternoon sun, they carry all their worldly possessions slung over one shoulder. All that they really need to possess is already in them. And in what can be called nothing short of ironic, the local population touches their feet as they hold up a hand in blessing. But Ramon has no such ideas, no dreadlocks, no tilak, not even robes. He looks like he just stepped off one of the three bikes he drives in London, helping run his family's furniture business there. Well, India for me is like home actually because the, the, all the different traditions of search for truth and for God and alignment are, are, are here in India together. Um, for me it's easy to come here and feel that what I'm looking for is supported in this environment. His friends here are drawn from England, Poland, Russia, all here to look for something that they miss back home. They don't know what it is, but hope that they can find it nonetheless. But a large swathe of tourists are drawn by unadulterated curiosity. The Kum, a fascinating oddity, spread over days. We've spent the whole day sitting and just watching everyone come in and out of the water. Because we didn't, we weren't raised with the same beliefs or religion, but it's still amazing that all, so many people come just to one place just to bless themselves and really believe in that. So yeah, it's really cool. And I heard about uh, the Kumbh Mela, about some tourists, some uh, yeah, people I met on my journey, and they said that it's an amazing place to be. The massive show of religious devotion is so unique that it has even attracted the attention of Harvard University. Six of its departments are collaborating to understand the Kumbh Mela phenomenon. Intrigued by the sheer scale and complex dynamics of the Mela, a group of top Harvard dons have been quietly working on a big multidisciplinary project to study its various aspects. The ambitious plan has been dubbed Mapping India's Kumbh Mela. The idea came to us when two different faculty, one from design school and one from religion, were saying this phenomena is going to happen. So it's very interesting that we need to study and they were both interested in studying. When we started to talk about this project across Harvard, there were folks, the faculty from public health who are studying sanitation, who are studying health centers, who are studying temporary settlements. They were also very interested in how does, they, how does the, the governance of something like this that is serving millions of people, how do they do this so quickly, so efficiently, so rapidly? Teams of professors, researchers and students from across Harvard are meeting under one roof at the Kumbh to explore diverse issues related to rapid urbanization, public health, business and religious expression at this year's festival. The Mela's lessons, researchers hope, could be applied in many situations. The kum that we actually see isn't really what the kum is all about. So what we've been trying to do is bring a team of very different kinds of people. We have people who study religion, which is what everyone thinks the kum is about. We have people who are studying the public administration, how things are organized, people who are studying traffic patterns, people who are studying sanitation, people who are studying how vegetables are sold, people who are studying how people wash and take care of themselves. And when all of this comes together, you see that the kumbh is really different. It's a whole that's bigger than all the individual parts. So I would say that's the one lesson that so far we've taken away. And it's exactly this that sets the kumbh apart. 
its different things to different people yet it still remains unique over the course of 55 days nearly 8 crore people are expected at alabad they will come here secure in the belief that they will be safe whether on land or whether in the waters of the sangam the government has done everything to make sure that they live up to those expectations but spare a thought and remember that all these men and women guarding you are also after all only human This is 7-year-old Rakhi and she's known for her beauty. At the Mahakumbh in the sea of humanity, she has the ability to make heads turn as she saunters by. Rakhi is part of the security detail that keeps the Mahakumbh safe. This mare is part of the 150 strong contingent of the Uttar Pradesh Mounted Police deployed at Allahabad for the entire duration of the comb. Throughout the day this mounted contingent plod along the river banks watching out for the safety and security of the praying bathing multitude. But the draw of divinity is hard to resist not for Rakhi but for the men on top. The police turned about as their feet hit the holy ground of Sangam. Stripping for a holy dip on a cold day, duty can wait a while. Such is the feel of this place that the line between the personal and the official blurs and especially when you're a policeman, it certainly is a good idea to wash off a few of your sins at the Mahakum. Keeping 10 million people safe is a mammoth task. The logistics itself is huge. 10 million humans, 193 hectares sprawling Mela campus, makeshift housing. On the day of a big snan, 15,000 police personnel are deployed to keep a hot eye on every inch of the Kumbh Mela grounds. Policemen are aided by more than 200 commandos of the special unit, 72 companies of Central Paramilitary Forces, 200 commandos of the Rapid Action Force, anti-terror squads, anti-mine squads, and sniffer dogs. While the devout millions bathe and pray, these men in uniform. and an army of plain clothes men mingle among the multitude ever watchful of that elusive terror attack a fact of life and that even the god fearing find hard to ignore and the security and safety is not just land locked exercise the water police ensure that in the trance of devoutness people don't wade into dangerous waters the security apparatus has its tasks cut out to ensure that the surging crowds are kept in check and the mahakumbh is remembered only for the purpose that it is held for a glimpse of the divine technology is being used to augment the strength of the boots on the ground 85 cctv cameras dot the mela premises they are monitored around the clock a control room coordinates all inputs and when group members get separated in the melee The lost and found booth is at hand to help and subtle humor possibly prompted the naming of this very important booth bhule bichhu mela mein aaye hue yaatri ke sath mein aaye hain aapke liye to aavashyak sujhnaye hain aapke aavashyak dhyan mein in terms of logistics the mahakumbh is such a massive exercise in administration that for the duration of the mela The area is treated as an independent and additional district of the state of Uttar Pradesh. The official police strength of this district is 12,000 police constables, 107 traffic inspectors, 12 additional superintendents of police, 16 assistant superintendents of police and 50 deputy superintendents of police leading the security network apart from the central police forces who watch every inch of land. 
every policeman knows that the job of keeping a place secure is plodding work. And Rocky and her mounted policemen will plod away day in and day out for the entire duration of the 56 day Mela that is the largest congregation of humans in the world. Across the world, the Kums are known for their color and that is not without reason. The sheer visual splendor is a sight to behold, but it's getting to be a crowded scene. So just like any other place, sometimes even the sadhus decide to do something exceptional just to stand out. At Kum, spirituality brings with it music, color and splendor. Divine, yes, but these Naga Sadhus of the Ananda Khara also know how to put up a good show. They reach out to the Almighty with an Almighty Orchestra. While others hold stage with a breathtaking display of martial arts. And then of course there are the bullet babas zooming in their divinity into the kumbh mela. कहीं भी जाने से बुलेट की एक आवाज ऐसी है बुलेट की दमदार आवाज जो है जंगलों में भी बड़े-बड़े हिंसक जानवरों को भी भयभीत कर देती है For those who think spirituality and technology can't go hand in hand meet computer baba क्योंकि मेरे वर्किंग जो है मेरा दिमाग जो है मेरा कंप्यूटर की तरह है इसलिए लोगों ने जो है मेरा नाम कंप्यूटर बाबा रख दिया और तब से आज 200 साल हो गए मेरा कंप्यूटर बाबा के नाम से मैं विख्यात हूं मेरे कोई आयोजन हो मेरा कोई कार्य हो इस समाज के कार्य हो जो भी हो तो मैं इतना फास्ट करता हूं इतना बढ़िया मैनेजमेंट करता हूं कि लोग दांतों तले उंगली दबा देते हैं इसलिए वो कंप्यूटर से ज्यादा मैंने कंप्यूटर जो फास्ट काम करता है ठीक वैसे ही मैं काम करता हूं देयर बॉडीड बाबास ब्रेव द कोल्ड विद मेडिटेशन कम रेन और शाइन नथिंग नम्स देयर फेथ but clearly, some devouts are still too young to get a taste of nirvana. Kya naam hai? Bole. 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 Bhook lag rahi thi kya? To kya bane ho tum? Bole. Kya bane ho? Bole. Ha. The vibrancy of these colors add to the multi-hued palette of the Kumela, where every color holds its own significance. हमारे यहां आचार्य जी जो हमारे श्री चंद्र जी हुए उन्होंने चार वस्त्रों का विधान बनाया स्याह सफेद जर्द सुरखाई जो ले पहने सो गुरभाई काला लाल सफेद और पीला ये साधना के स्तर पे होता है गिविंग ऑल कलर्स अ मिस आर द नागा साधुस नोन फॉर शेडिंग ऑल इनहिबिशंस वर्ल्डली पोजेशंस एंड इवन देयर क्लोथ्स नागा के अंदर कोई संकोच नहीं होता है माय माया मोह लोभ ये सब उसने छोड़ दिए हैं ये सब जब आदमी निर्वस्त्र रहेगा तो उसको कोई वो संकोच की बात ही नहीं रही उसको तो ना गई हमेशा ही रहना है तो जो क्या है जो विकार रूपी जो संसार है उसके अंदर जो अंतकरण के अंदर बास करता है वो निकल जाता है नगर रहने से This broad world view and acceptance of even nudity attracts even the liberals Item girl Poonam Pandey to made her way to the Kumbh Mela to seek divine blessings and for once, she was more dressed than those around her. A melting pot of spirituality and individuality is perhaps what best exemplifies the Kumbh. For the entire duration of the Mahakumbh, practically an entire township came up around the Triveni. When it concludes, everyone here will go back with a silent prayer on their lips that everything they wished for at the Sangam comes true and for those for whom it does not happen the long wait for the next mahakum would have already begun with camera person zaheer bagh at busangam in allahabad patnjal joshi headlines today